What animal is a lectabuzz? Is it a a cat, a bear, a bear cat, a man bear pig? <laughs> What up everybody, it's your boy Big Don Skills again, bringing you another video. I know it's been a while, but we are back baby. And we are coming through with part nine of the Rate the Pokemon Generation 1 sprites. Once again, on your left side is going to be the Pokemon Green version, and on your right side it's gonna be the Pokemon Red slash Blue version. So let's get into it. First one up is we got Mr. Mime. I'm looking at Mr. Mime right now, and it's so funny. I don't even remember this sprite as a kid. I don't remember the red and blue version, but I think the green one's a little bit better because it feels more mime-like. It's a little bit more dimensional. And the red and blue one looks a little bit chubbier. Although Mr. Mime is kind of like whatever, I'm gonna have to go with the slight edge to Pokemon Green, but there's nothing wrong with the red version. Oh man, the classic Scyther himself, I think, a fan favorite of a lot of people, okay? you If you like Charizard, Scyther was kind of in that same category. <laughs> I think this was always one that looked weird because I remember the show, and by the time I'd seen this one, I'd already seen what he looked like in the show, and I don't like the green one that much, but I think the red and blue one is just fine. It's not one of my favorite representations of the Pokemon itself, but I still think it's got a really cool dynamic pose, right? It's angled, it's coming at you, the, the Sicer coming down from the sides of his hands. So I'm gonna have to give this one to red. Oh, Jinx, probably the most controversial Pokemon of Gen 1, obviously due to the nature of the color, which would be blackface. Eventually they changed it, and now Jinx has a purple face. The lips aren't as pronounced. Jinx is just the L, all right? We gonna move on to the next one. All right, Electabuzz, another fan favorite, all right? I already know Magmar is coming up, but Electabuzz, Scyther, Charizard, those are like the signature favorites of Gen 1. And I actually think the green version, funny enough, is, is the more signature Electabuzz pose, right? Where his hands are kind of above its head. But the red and blue version, the pose is pretty cool too. I'm gonna give this one a draw. I think they both did a really good job. Once again, one of the coolest Pokemon, a Thunder Punching Electabuzz. I don't even know what animal is supposed to be. Does anybody know? Somebody tell me in the comment section, what animal is Electabuzz? Is it a, a cat, a bear, a bear cat, a man bear pig? <laughs> and Magmar, man. I forgot about this one. It's so dynamic, but it's, it's weird how dynamic it is for Magmar, you know? But I'll never forget how nasty Blaine's Magmar, bro. Blaine's Magmar versus Charizard? One of the most iconic battles in Pokemon history? Come on now. I, I just always laughed at the, the butt head that uh, Magmar has, but it's still so cool because they're so different, but I like and dislike certain things about them both. This one's a draw. Still overall a classic Pokemon. Pinsir. <laughs> Are these literally just reversed? <laughs> I think this is literally just reverse. Like the claw is slightly different. Um, the green version has more shadow on it. Like what, what is going on here? This is this is terrible. Why did why his eyes look like that? Like, I don't remember Pinsir looking this bad, but this is actually a mm-mm. This one's whack. I'm not gonna lie to you. They're both bad. Uh this one's a draw, but they're both L's, as the youngins would say. I always forget about Tauros. It looks too cute in the red and blue version. I like the green version better because the pose is more horse-like or more bull-like, excuse me. And it's a lot more dynamic looking. I'm gonna have to give this one the green. I think the green one looks a lot better. Red and blue just looks a little too cute. Magikarp. Wow, Magikarp Sprite is actually really good. It's a really detailed one. Uh, who would think that Magikarp would have one of the better looking sprites in the whole game? <laughs> why, why does this look so good? <laughs> I think they both look great. I would give this one a draw too. You know, very dynamic, kind of swimming towards you. With the green version, I guess it's swimming kind of like at an angle. But the red and blue version, it's a little bit more derpy and looking side to side. But I think they both match Magikarp, honestly. Because even though Magikarp is, just splashes all day, it can still technically swim, it's a fish. 
So yeah, we'll give this one a draw. A really good job of Magikarp. Gyarados. Yeah, red and blue Gyarados is a top tier sprite for sure. It is hard to beat this one. This is one of the, when you see this on the enemy screen, you know that trouble is coming. You can look at this Pokemon and know that it's strong, right? You know that it's one of the strongest Pokemon in the generation. I think that's what's so great about the Gyarados Sprite. It shows how powerful it really looks. The green version doesn't look bad. Um, it's just the eyes are a little bit odd off on it, but I think that looks really good too, right? It's very aggressive in your face. Uh, I would give this one the red and blue, but hey, green did a good job as well. Lapras, all right, so Lapras is known for having the, the eyes, the like, I don't know how to explain it, but they have like the Disney character eyes or something. <laughs> I've always liked the design of Lapras, a very simplistic but iconic one, and definitely was bolstered by the show, right? The green one looks more dinosaur-like, which makes sense, right? That's, that's Lapras supposed to be, is it supposed to be Nessie? Nest, Nestle Crunch, I'm gonna call it Nestle now. <laughs> I think the red and blue one just looks a little bit more elegant. Green looks just fine, but red and blue wins. A little bit more sleeker, a little bit more elegant, more feminine. And I think that's what they were going for with that look. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto's one of those designs where it's kind of hard to mess up because by nature it's just a blob. And um, <laughs> I actually think Despite this, the red and blue one's a little bit better because I like how it's doing the Kirby wave at you. Hi! <laughs> Green's not bad, but just red and blue slightly wins. There's not too much to say about this. It's ditto. Like, you can configure it in as many ways as you want. You give it two dots and a smile and you've got a ditto. So, good job. Eevee. I don't know what's going on with the green version. I always thought that when I played it growing up, I was like, this doesn't look anything like the Eevee from the show. <laughs> But it's not a bad sprite at all. It's just it just looks a lot different than what Eevee ended up being. But I would definitely get this one the red and blue because the green one looks so weird. Like what what is that? They didn't they didn't do a good job with that one at all. It's all disconfigured. Vaporeon is one of my favorite Pokemon, actually. I've always been Team Vaporeon, my favorite Eeveelution for sure. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite Eeveelution is, by the way. And it I don't know. Once again, well, I don't know what green was going with it. it they, they didn't do it right at all. I always liked how kind of sh like how much shadow they put on the red and blue Vaporeon Sprite. I used to remember that too. I was like, it, it looks ominous for some reason. And I don't know if that's what they were going for, but it oddly kind of fits with Vaporeon because it's got that cat-like pose where it's circling around like to kind of stalk its prey. I really like that. <laughs> But the green version looks pretty bad, actually. That looks like that looks fan made. It looks like a beta sprite, like something that was in those beta leaks. We're going with red and blue for sure. Jolteon. And I wow, I really like that green version. It's pretty dynamic and the, the sparks are really coming out of it. This is kind of cool. I thought the red and blue version was always nice. It was a really cool looking sprite, a little bit more subtle than I think um, Vaporeon. But I really like that green version. It's kind of ah, it's out there and it's spiky. It, it looks like it's about to just pop out a lot of electricity. I'm gonna give this one a Pokemon green. I see you, Jolteon. Last but not least, we've got Flareon. And it, wow, okay. I like both of these as well. The mink cat kind of laying down, just calm and ready. Is, is kind of a cool mix with Flareon. I like how they went for like different cat poses for each of the Eevee Lucians. I think that's what they were trying to convey with the theme. But I also like the green version because it's it's kind of ready to pounce, right? It's just alert, it's ready, it's almost a little bit more dynamic, honestly. I would give this one a draw because they both look really good and they both accomplish a, a theme with that Pokemon. Good job on Flareon. But all right, that is the last one for today. I've realized with this series, part 10, we're gonna sum this bad boy up. So we're gonna do the rest of the 151. <laughs> but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I apologize for the hiatus and I appreciate everybody that's been sticking here with me. We are still on our way to 1000. 
So once again, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that drop, hit that drop, drop that like, hit the sub button, come join me in the fam as we are streaming and doing a lot of other things on different social media platforms. So I appreciate y'all and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. It'll be here tomorrow. Peace out, deuces.